Extreme weather could hit the prairies tonight. Tornado warnings have been issued for southern Manitoba near the border with the United States. The province is already in the middle of an emergency, scrambling to hold back the rising floodwaters of the Assiniboine River. Near Portage La Prairie, the province may deliberately breach a dike at the Hoop and Holler Bend. That could relieve some of the pressure off the Assiniboine. The idea isn't popular with many landowners in the area because their properties may get flooded. That already happened further upstream in Brandon. And that's where we join Global's Ashley Carter tonight. Ashley. Robin, the Assiniboine River here in Brandon, Manitoba is rising an inch every hour. Last night alone, it rose two feet. You can tell by the street signs behind me how high the water is. But the city does say that this dike here will hold the water back. In fact, the water is supposed to stay a foot and a half below the top of this dike. And city crews have been working very hard to make sure that happens. It looks devastating. Um... It's certainly not the norm, that's for sure. It'll be, uh, be a long time to get everything recovered. Onlookers in Brandon watched Saturday as the Assiniboine River started to crest, with water levels at least a foot higher than the 2011 flood. We just can't believe the amount of water that has overtaken Brandon. Uh, it is so much worse than 2011, and we were all devastated with that. That affected everybody. They handled it pretty good last time, so we'll have to have faith that they're going to do it again. Floodwaters have nearly submerged playgrounds, stop signs and lamp posts, but city officials ensure they are prepared, finishing last minute dike construction. We're going to wait now for that water to come up and uh, keep an eye on the sky. After the provincial government declared a state of emergency Friday, the city of Brandon handed out 850 pre-evacuation notices to residents like Gary Wall. The pre-evacuation notices last night. Yeah, and so, so what did you think when you got that? A little concern. But the city says there's no need for concern unless the city's dikes are breached. All the city asks from its residents are that they keep safety a top priority. For goodness sakes, stay away from the river. That river is moving so fast. The city says this is a new type of flood, different than the devastating one they experienced here in 2011. And that's because forecasters say once the water here peaks today, it is expected to go down in a couple of days. But then the water is going to peak again and stay for a couple of weeks. Robin. Ashley Carter in Brandon, Manitoba.